Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. Um, this is going to be my review and recap. You might get ready with me for today. Um, we watching Dracula this morning. We're going to see what happens on this episode, Jesus. Let's get into it. Wait a minute. This beginning, though. <laughs> At the Boulay Brothers Salon, we will give you a new idea of beauty, glamour, and horror, which I find particularly amusing as I am currently <laughs> beating my face. Cute. I, listen, I, this I enjoyed. Now, I looked at... Baby... I I looked for clues to see if there was going to be clues to whoever's going home. But I won't know until the end. So, we going, we going. I didn't see any, nothing stuck out to me as obvious. Um, but we going to see, we going to see. We are definitely going to see. Not Jay Jolie blaming her messiness and being petty with Petty Betty. On being bipolar. What? Daughter just said I didn't like that bitch. And so I sent her ass home. Not now I want to make amends. With her and blah. Girl fuck you. <laughs> Do you see my face. As I'm watching them apologize to each other. Like, I don't want people to be jackasses to each other. Because that was a complaint at the beginning. Like, y'all just met each other. Y'all being assholes already. But this fake kumbaya. Proceed. <laughs> okay, so it is the Harry, Harry Beast Challenge. And they have all of these wigs that they can use for their challenge. They can cut and color and customize and all that good stuff. Um, I'm thinking back to when they did like the hair challenge on Drag Race. And I think Jay, that was Jay Jolie's season. But I can't remember what it is she did. But I don't think it was good at it. Hopefully she can. Okay, I'm taking a snack break. Um, this conversation between Do Dolly and Saint was very sweet and very much needed, I think, especially especially for Saint. Um, it's, it's an added pressure when you are in spaces... Um, where people of your color are not normally known to be. And all of the allyship that he would have had has already been, has already left the competition. So now it's, the pressure is triply on you to do well because in a sense you're carrying everyone on your back who looks like you. So that, I think that conversation was okay. well done. So They ain't got no drama. Because all the drama people have left. So. Now we have to look at Jay being sad in the corner. Because something happened to her dog. And she had to be on FaceTime. Because they had to put the animal down. Because ain't no drama between the rest of the contestants. Okay. Now, the boulets come out here with this giant ass hair. And the guest judges is Landon Sider, the winner of the last season. It's Miss Bonnie. I don't know what Miss Bonnie Aaron do. Or who she is. But she just get happy to be out the house. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on. Uh, <laughs> this floor show is crazy. <laughs> That's all I got. Listen, it started off uh with a very subtle saint. These long braids. The bottom half of him was like a goat. I think it was with the hooves and stuff and then the hairy, you know. And then Dolly came out looking like something from one of my worst nightmares. And then Sigourney Beaver came out looking like um now the Sigourney Beaver looks like the mom from American Dad. Um only her hair it's like wedding train long and there's hair up her legs. And what takes the cake for me, I didn't even finish the floor show. I just paused it. What's taking the cake for me is Hoso as this Mothman. I'm going to listen. Hold on. I feel compelled in my spirit, man, to turn, her, turn this around and show y'all. Oh, do y'all see this? Look at this. Who, how your mind even can see? Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, listen. Now, I understand what La Zavaletta said. La Zavaletta said she was going for a cat in the head. But it just really looks to me like a lost cast member from the Broadway show Cats. Then gone down to the strip club and singing Who Wants to Go Out Tonight. That's, that's what that's giving. It's giving me very much Cats slash Rent. That, okay. <laughs> So, of course, they have my favorite part, the meeting, before the meeting. And so, they're discussing what's going on with Jade. But they're saying, but well, they can't cut her any slack. Because then that wouldn't be fair to someone else who didn't have any particular issues um, this week. Um, I feel like it may be Jade and Saint. Like I was saying, I think it may end up being jade and saint in the bottom it also may be sigourney beaver because they're like oh we love her we love her but she's always giving us glamour 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 she gave us a little bit of horror but no gore at all where's the gore stop relying on that body <laughs> that's what it's giving me okay so this is where you can see the clear differences between drag race and drag guild so they had a conversation at the meeting before the meeting about hoso being needy and the crew members treating crew members like they her slaves and stuff and when they got to her critiques they gave her great critiques on her floor show but they did say we do have a criticism you need to understand that the people that you are working with will the people that you will continue to work with if we go on floor show if we go on tour these are the same crew members so don't get on their bad side okay because these are the same people it's not like you're getting different people in different situations these are the same people across the board so watch how you treat the people the, the support staff with respect. Don't get on their bad side. And she was like, this is coming from a woman who doesn't have uh, dressers. She doesn't have people to help her with her makeup. Who gets in the geesh all by herself for every show. Listen to what I'm telling you. I said, oh, well. The respectfulness in which they um, directed that criticism towards her. I really appreciate it. Okay, so they told Sigourney Beaver, oh, we wish you had more hair. We really wanted you to do even more hair, more hair, more hair. And she was like, oh, my God, they hated it. They really, really hated it. They said, add more hair, girl, calm down. So they really, really loved Saint's um, hooven 
pan flute situation, which I'm so glad for. And they really love Dali. So Hoso, Dali, and Saint were in the top, which means Jade, Sigourney, and I guess La Zavaleta are in the bottom because it's just, no, there's seven of them. Somebody I'm missing. Whatever. Uh, so we finna see. But Hoso won. Did I say that? Hoso won, and we about to see what the elimination, extermination situation is finna happen. So it's Jade and Sigourney Beaver. So I, based just on track record alone, I am really gonna say Sigourney, not Sigourney, Jade is going home. Because Jade has been safe this whole time. She hasn't won anything. Sigourney just won last episode. So conventional wisdom tells us, conventional wisdom tells us Thank you, Jade. Next. Not the extermination is they're going to get locked in a room and just fill the room full of roaches. And whoever can stay the longest, just send me home. Just go ahead and send me home. This is not what the Lord wants for me. Just go ahead and send me home. This, no. Mm -mm. Okay, so the cauldron is subdued because Jade is sad about her cat. And she's, now she's explaining to everybody what happened. They found the poor cat unresponsive and he had to say goodbye over FaceTime when they put the cat down and then Sigourney, I don't know how to read the room beaver, said something. They said something where well, you go on. Sigourney says some smart ass comment about she's she'll be the one coming back or something. And pretty much everybody's like Girl, could you just not right now? And then it's like, Dolly, do something crazy. Nobody's fighting. Do something. And he starts hopping around the room. Now, they take them into this room with the cockroaches. What they did not explain, which I was unaware of, and this is when I would have tapped out, is that there's a person dressed all in black, a little tiny person, who's behind them, who's not taking the roaches and putting them physically on their person. Uh -uh. Y'all said go in the room with the roaches. Y'all didn't say the y'all was gonna put the roaches. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I would like the option to check out. I was in here for thirty two seconds. Mark that down as my time. Thirty two seconds. Cause you're not putting nope, not in my head. Well, uh, no, child. Now they coming from out of the sky. Like I can't in order that. There's just no way that's what God wants for me. I just listen, friends, Romans, countrymen. That's just not. That's just not. Mm -mm. I talked to the Lord and confirmed it in my spirit. That's not what he wants for me. Oh, God. <clears throat> well, it was Jade that went off. I kind of figured that's what was going to happen. It's sad that it happened in this week when she also lost her cat and stuff. But, yeah, we kind of saw that coming. They slit her, at, they slit her throat at the uh, salon. Well... <laughs> That's how that went. Um, normally, I can finish my face. Like, I have the least amount of makeup because I'm trying to... All I did was some highlighter. I did a little bronzer on my eye and a highlighter. And my face is still not finished. Stupid. But I ain't did my hair yet either. But that is my review. Listen, I still got to do my hair. But this is my review and recap of Dracula season uh for episode six hairy monsters like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a kid who you got your money on now that we are at the top five right now i still got my money on saint and dolly and sigourney beaver if she don't get her shit together she finna go home next i, I can feel it and my listen we gonna see like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a kid. I'll catch you on the next one.